play these roles and to develop men. And I guess my hope is that we all know what is growth from our form one and location. We know what is development. Uh, we know that all living organisms usually grow and they help to develop. So we want to look at the differences between and growth and development. So we start with the growth. Growth refers to permanent increase in Growth refers to permanent increase in size and mass in living organisms, whereas development refers to permanent increase in complexity of living organisms. So you are saying that growth refers to permanent increase in mass and size.
process continues until a mass of cell is formed with called morula. This one is mass of cell, and remember it is uh, due to the, the aspect of division called the mitosis. So this one is mass of, of cells called mor called morula. Then the morula still divides. It is still continuous in dividing to form an alright structure. This alright structure is called blastocyte. The blastocyte then uh, differentiates in two parts the ectoderm and the endoderm. The endoderm is a, the, the inner part of the blastocyte and the ectoderm is the outer part. This blastocyte then, then uh, attaches to the walls of the uterus, leading to the air uh, and it absorbs nutrients from the mother. It continues dividing until an embryo is formed, that is, embryo is formed which is now a, a complex organism. So we have seen that all complex organisms usually start to derive from a symbol, from a symbol organism or single-celled organism. And then if these factors of growth are, are protein, they will lead to a, a calf called a sigmoid calf. We have seen that if we, we brought the the, the huh? if we brought the parameters of growth, we form a S curve, which is called a sigmoid curve. The sigmoid curve looks like this. Parameters of growth. Parameters of growth, then we are measuring these ones of a period of time. The curve that will be obtained will be like this. As you can see, this curve can be divided into four bases. This one is the first base A, second base B, C, and then D. So this curve is called a sigmoid. Sigmoid curve. If we take the parameters of growth and then we plot, we'll get such a curve, uh, which is due to uh, various factors. The first, the first one is the first base A is due to the, the rate of growth is very slow because of various factors that we look on. Then the second base is called the exponential base. This. This one is called the uh, it is called the decelerating base. And so in summary we can say that we have four bases. The first base is called the ramp base, which is also called slow growth base. Then B is also A is called the rock base, which is also called the exponential base. Then the, the third base is called the decelerating base. And the fourth one is called the stationary base which is also called the plateau. This. So next time we will look at those factors that causes the difference in growth in those various parts. Then we meet next time.